horsepower is kicking up on the main line at the Devon Horse Show and Country Fair. Experience the thrills of the country's largest multi-breed competition. Shop for one-of-a-kind finds and enjoy entertainment for all ages. Tickets on sale now at devonhorseshow.org. In today's competitive work environment, many older adults feel pressure to look younger. In today's Art of Aging report, Action News anchor Tamla Edwards found that looking good can also make them good. Harold Sobraco owns a fresh produce company in South Jersey and sees looking good as an important part of his job. You clearly can't do much about the aging process, but you sure can make the best of what you have. You don't want to look battered or beat up. You want to still have vibrance. He goes to the gym to stay in shape and to Suede Salon in Marlton to stay on trend. He's always having business meetings and traveling. It's important for him to always look groomed and professional. I used to have it kind of straight back, and now we kind of like have like a joy. George Clooney look. A lot of people who hadn't seen me in a while, they said, wow, you look very much younger. So that was pretty nice. That was pretty cool. And keeping up with appearances is not just for still working seniors. Carol Rexon is retired and says maintaining her sense of style is an important part of her self-esteem. I don't want to look old or become old. And the more I take care of myself, the better I feel. So she regularly invests in hair and makeup services. It sure cuts down on psychiatric visits. I always tell my seniors it's never too late to start a good skincare regimen. It, it makes them feel better. Their skin is glowing. They feel healthier. It's about putting their best foot and face forward. This is the time in their life where they can do what they want when they want. So why not look good and feel good about doing it? And when you're all made up and look good, you feel like going out and being social. It's all tied together. You look the way you feel. Tamala Edwards, Channel 6 Action News.